I've been waiting to do this video on Diogo Delo for a little while, but it feels like the right time to do it after he banged in two goals for Portugal against Czech Republic yesterday in the UEFA Nations League. Now, Diogo Delo, if we're looking at players who have improved, I'm not sure there's anybody who's improved more than Diogo Delo under Eric Ten Hag. You could talk about Scott McTominay as a potential alternative, but Diogo has impressed me so much. In this video, I want to speak about that growth not only in just the quality of his football, in his mentality, in his approach, and how he seems to be somebody completely transformed. And I think Eric Ten Hag is, is massively responsible for that. But there's other areas I think were also involved in that transformation. I'm going to speak about in this video. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But yeah, what is Diogo Delo doing banging in two goals for Portugal during the international break? He gets two, Bruno gets a goal and an assist. Absolutely fantastic performance it was from him against the Czech Republic. Not just the goals. And Diogo Delo, right? If we were to rewind and look at when we signed him back in 2018, I think it was. It was under Jose Mourinho and we were excited about it. We were signing a young defender from Portugal, from Porto specifically. We were thinking, cool, this is sort of Jose Mourinho, maybe going towards a little bit of youth. It's going to work out brilliantly. And at the start of his United career, let's be honest, you know, he had his moments, just like everybody else had in those seasons. He had his moments, but Diogo Delo was never able to really be good consistently. I think defensively, he left a lot to be desired. I think in an attacking sense, he didn't add anywhere near as much as he needed to. And I don't think his game massively developed that much uh, from when he signed to when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer signed Juan Bissaka and brought him in, and then Diogo Delo was just shafted to the sidelines. He had no real chance of getting in because Juan Bissaka was an absolute mainstay in the team that season. And what happened then was he went out on loan to AC Milan and played under Stefano Pioli. And I think this is probably part one of the transformation of Diogo Delo. Obviously, AC Milan have since gone on to win the Serie A title. And he played a season there. He learned a new system. He learned a new way of defending. And maybe he learned how to defend a little bit better. Because when he came back to Manchester United, of course it wasn't until Ralph Ragnick came in that he got his opportunities. But when he did get those chances under Ralph, remember that. Remember when Ralph came in and he made two massive changes straight away. Shaw and wan were dropped. And Tellez and... Diogo Delo came in and we were like, Jesus Christ, we've actually got, oh, what's going on? We've got fullbacks here. They're actually doing something good. We're like, yes, please. Good. And it, it seemed a long, long way away from, from where we had seen him before. But Diogo Delo came back. He obviously came back from AC Milan, a slightly different player. And we saw a, a more mature Diogo Delo under Ralph Rani, but still somebody who had a lot of rough edges. Absolutely. And that's where I think Eric Ten Hag has stepped in and helped Diogo Delo to step up. What I want to do here is pull up an interview. I remember during the preseason, I just like how Diogo speaks in this little quick 20, 30 second snippet. And obviously we, we, we want to keep going and we want to, to know that it's, been, it's going to be a long season, a different season from, from, from pretty much every season that we had this in, in the past few years. So we want to we wanna build something. We want to build a, a team uh, together with players, together with staff. Uh, build something very good uh, inside and between us and then uh, do our job on the pitch and, and win games. Do your job on the pitch. It's been a long time since United players had actually done that until this. But if I'm looking at individuals, in my personal opinion, that really took to Eric Ten Hag's system the quickest, I probably would have said Diogo Delo and Anthony Martial. It sucks for Martial that he's got his injuries and maybe, uh, fingers crossed, he comes back from the international break and we've actually got a striker who could play. Marcus Rashford's better on the left wing, in my opinion. But Delo and Martial were the two players who, in my opinion, really took to it straight away. I think he played with a smile on his face. and I, I, That whole interview there, that's just a snippet I showed you, but it, he seems to be thriving in the Ten Hag system. So many of them do. You know, Marcus Rashford looks like a player reborn. Diogo Delo looks like a player reborn. Scott Matomane looks like a player reborn. It's almost like you need that players. It's almost like players need good coaches and real clarity on a structure and a system to play towards before they can understand what their roles are in the football pitch. It's almost like that's the case. I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And then we go into this season. So like everything from Delo in, under Mar in the Mourinho times. Uh, Wan-Bissaka coming in, then him just like not getting a chance. 
and then going on loan for a full season to AC Milan. You question whether that was the end of Diogo Delo's career or not. There was there was talk of him going back on loan for a second season. And I said, look, if that happens, I don't think he's got a chance. He stayed at the club. Solskjaer got sacked. Ragnik came in, gave him his chance. And from then on, Diogo Delo has been taking the opportunities that he's been given. And if we look in this season, look, I've waxed lyrical about Lissandro Martinez. And I've done the same thing about Rafael Varane. And I feel like that's kind of doing this bloke a little bit of a disservice because I think he has been a very significant reason and part of this new look United team, this this new feeling we've got towards this United team, this, this new feeling we've got about genuine confidence, actual real confidence, not misplaced either in our defence to actually keep a clean sheet. We did it away at Southampton and Leicester, proper backs to the wall. I think certainly in the second half against Leicester and quite a lot of the game against Southampton, but we only needed one goal to win those games because we kept the clean sheet. And that's not just down to Varane, not just down to Martinez, not just down to Delo either. It's a, it's a complete unit we're getting built at the back. And he's making himself an indispensable part of that to the point where Eric Ten Hag's bringing him out here in the press conference ahead of the game against Real Sociedad. Diogo Delo, it, it's a mentality thing. And that is, for me, the most important part of this video is this bit here. Uh, Harry Panero speaking to a football, a football official. That's what it's called. It's a new channel. And he's saying, look, whenever I spoke to Diogo Delo, this is what he, he said, that we've got a chance to be remembered as the players that brought Manchester United back. That, for me, is the single most important thing he could say. I felt, and I've actually really felt this for a long, long time. Let me pull that on the screen there. I felt that this is a big reason why Eric Ten Hag took the job. I think he looked at it because, you know, his, his um, reputation is on the line. But Eric Ten Hag will look at it and go, you know what? I can actually be remembered as, as the manager who brought Manchester United back. If we're talking about career legacies, that right there, the hardest job, probably the hardest job in club football, the concept of it, the pressures of it, the actual doing it, given what City are doing in the league. And the players, I've always felt like, why is it that the players aren't driven by something like that? And Diogo Delo saying that, the way he's playing at the moment, the way that everybody is playing at the moment, like he's got that purpose, like he's really thought about it, and that's kind of driving him and driving United forward. Now, I'm not saying that Diogo Delo is the complete footballer right now, because obviously we know exactly where his strengths lie, and his weaknesses have, have previously lay in and around this area, defensive positioning. But he seems to be improving. I imagine, what I, I remember, what was it? When we signed Jaden Sancho, I backed wan to be the most improved player. And that was a spectacular failure. But if I'm looking at a partnership down the right wing now, because Anthony will play on that right, but that will be his position week in, week out. It's not going to be chopping and changing. Sometimes Sancho out there, sometimes Elanga out there. No, if Anthony's fit, Anthony's starting on that right wing in the Premier League for Manchester United. Unless he needs to be rested for a massive game in the Europa League, which is not going to happen that often until the knockouts. But that can be a genuine partnership. Delo and Anthony, the overlaps. That, look, man, he's, he's banging in two goals for Portugal. His confidence is flying high. Football is all about confidence, all about form. And we're seeing a player here who has transformed himself from this sort of... I don't know how to describe him. He was a, he was a young kid coming into a new environment. And it was a... I wouldn't say it was, well, it was a bit toxic. United was a topsy-turvy environment. We had our moments there. Of course we did. But we chopped managers. He's gone out on loan. He's got a new manager coming in. A lot of instability. Under Eric Ten Hag now, Man United had that stability. Man United had that genuine vision about what we can see going forward. And we're starting to see reap the rewards defensively. We're playing as a unit. And Diogo Delo has made himself a key and indispensable part of that. So much so that Ten Hag's bringing him into press conferences. I just wanted to do this video because I think, as I said, I think he still needs to improve in terms of this. Oh dear, not in Fred. I still think he needs to improve in terms of his positioning here. But I think playing alongside this man is really, really helping him. Of course, of course it does. They're building a good partnership down there in the same way that Malasia and Martinez are doing that on the left wing. I'm just really, really impressed. I think that's the way I, that's the way I would describe it. Impressed with the growth and the transformation of Diogo Delo over the last 18 months to two years, including his loan spell at AC Milan. I feel that's where it started. I feel it, it's sort of flourished a little bit under Ralph Radnick, but now it's blossoming 
under Eric Ten Hag. Long may it continue. I'm sure he'll hit a purple, uh, not opposite the purple. I'm sure he'll hit a, he'll, he will hit a bad patch of form. I'm not looking forward to seeing how we line up when he's injured. I don't think we've really got an alternative to him. And there's still far more that he needs to improve in his overall game. But his transformation this season under Eric Ten Hag has been spectacular. And you could argue more so than Scott McTominay's. And I wanted to do a video on it. The rise of, of Diogo Delo this season for me has been extremely impressive. A testament to Eric Ten Hag as a coach. A testament to Diogo Delo and his mentality. And as a, to reiterate, the main takeaway from this video is that if that is a, is a mentality that trickles down into every player inside that dressing room and they genuinely think, you know what? We could be the players to get United back to the top. And that permeates and infects the dressing room. That's a mentality that can drive United towards winning the Premier League again. It really, really can. So fair play to Diogo. I hope he keeps it up. Let me know what your thoughts are on Diogo this season. Are there areas you still think he needs to improve on? I think there, there are. Absolutely not a complete player. Quite far from it. But fair play to Diogo, man. Keep it up. Seriously. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new.